Hey guys, Mish here, and today I wanted to share a set of studies with you about vitamins and acne. Because there's been a lot of interest in my hormonal acne video from a few years ago, but that doesn't help everyone because not everyone's acne is hormonal. So today I wanted to share some studies on a lesser known cause of acne that does seem to affect a subset of people, and that is vitamins. Also, I just want to apologize in advance for my voice being a little bit raspy. There have been a lot of wildfires in California right now, and the air quality has just been horrendous. So my little voice is not up to its usual abilities, but I really wanted to make a video for you guys anyway. So, so generally, people think of acne as afflicting people who are vitamin deficient and just eating crap all the time, and therefore not getting their good vitamins in and maybe getting too much of the bad stuff. And while I'm sure that's the case for some people, that is definitely not the case for everyone suffering from acne. And there has been some evidence that actually overdosing on certain vitamins can cause acne. And today I wanted to focus on vitamin B12. Because I see some hints of this in the media and on YouTube, but I haven't actually seen anyone going over the studies on this to see whether or not this is actually a thing where having vitamin B12 can cause acne. And if you're vegan like me, this might be an especially relevant issue for you because we are supposed to supplement with vitamin B12. But the question is, could you be getting too much and could this be causing acne? This issue has occasionally surfaced in the scientific literature since about the 60s, where dermatologists have occasionally published case studies showing that they have had patients come into their dermatology clinics who seem to get acne immediately after vitamin B12 injections and that it went away after they stopped the injections. But of course, these are case studies, so it's only individual patients. However, the fact that they were able to show that it went away after the treatment stopped does make it pretty decent evidence, especially for a case study, that vitamin B12 really is causing acne in some people. Another study that seemed more convincing, for me at least, found that the levels of vitamin B12 in the blood of people with acne was higher than in the blood of people without acne. So it seems like acne patients, as they put it, have higher B12 circulating in their system. So of course that's only correlational evidence, but that does seem to suggest that there's something going on here with acne and B12. Two of these studies also found that treating people's acne with common acne medications like isotretinoin actually caused their vitamin B12 levels to go down as they got better. So that's really interesting evidence. But the question still remains how, what is going on, and why would supplementing vitamin B12 relate to acne at all? So now we've gone from the 1960s to 2010, and so far what we have are approximately a pile of 10 studies that are all correlational for the most part that seem to all be suggesting that there is some kind of relationship between B12 and acne. But to this point, no one had done any sort of causal or mechanistic type investigations looking into if vitamin B12 is really causing acne, and if so, how. But then in 2015, a study on the topic came out in Science Translational Medicine, which is this really big journal that's very hard to get into, very popular. So I'm just gonna say in advance, we can be very, very confident that the best people in the field think that this is a good study. So I'm not gonna get super into the details because it's very complex microbiome type study, but I'm giving you that disclaimer so that we don't have to feel like we have to evaluate whether or not the study was actually good. Because a lot of these diet studies that I've been going over have some questionable methods, which I usually like to mention in the videos. So in this study, they did a series of experiments to look at this relationship between vitamin B12 and acne. So the first thing they did was they took a bunch of people with acne and a bunch of people without acne and looked at whether the bacteria on their skin was different in terms of gene expression or transcriptional activities as they put it. So I'm just gonna break this down a little bit. On our skin we have tons of bacteria, but there's one bacteria type that has been implicated in acne and it's called P. acnes. So that's the short version of the full name, but we don't need to know the full name today. And so this study looked at differences in how P. acnes metabolize things and pretty much what it was doing while it's on your skin. And so they found that people with acne had P. acnes bacteria that was producing less B12 because their gene expression was downregulated for making B12. So now they did some really cool causal stuff. And what they did was they took 10 healthy people without acne and they gave them injections of B12. And they looked at their skin bacteria right before the injection, two days after the injection, and two weeks after it. And they looked at how this B12 biosynthesis pathway, along with some others, changed as a result of this. And after just two days, those genes were already downregulated, the same ones as in the acne patients. And after two weeks, their skin bacteria looked almost identical to people with acne in terms of how it was producing B12. And so what they're showing is that giving people B12 actually made their skin bacteria act similarly 
to people's skin bacteria who have acne. But that, of course, itself is not a causal role in B12 and acne. But interestingly, one of their 10 patients actually developed acne. So these are people who didn't have it before. They got their B12 injections, and then one out of 10 developed acne. And this makes sense with the literature because past studies have shown that it seems to be a specific subset of people who are really sensitive to B12 in a way that causes acne. And interestingly, the person who did get acne as a result of this had their pathway downregulated more than other people, so they produced even less B12 on their skin than the rest of the people who got the supplementation. So it seems like they reacted more to that supplementation, and then that caused their acne. And so to extrapolate from that, it was possible that if these people had been given more injections besides just the one over a longer period of time, they may have had more people show breakouts as a result of this B12 supplementation. And so the next question they asked is why? Why would producing less B12 on your skin as a result of getting B12 cause acne? And the results are very complicated on this because they mentioned tricarboxylic acid pathways and a couple different genes and codons. It's going to break it down and say, they did some fancy cell culture experiments to get at this, and what they found was that when skin bacteria was producing less B12 as a result of this downregulated gene expression, it's kind of a mouthful, as is seen in people with acne and after B12 supplementation, the skin bacteria, as a result, produced more porphyrins. And these are a molecule that has been shown to cause inflammation. So it looks like when you have B12 and you're supplemented with B12, or you have high circulating B12 for some other reason, then your skin bacteria produce less B12 because B12 modulates its own gene expression pathways. So it makes sense that if you have a lot in your system, you're going to be producing less. Then that causes the skin bacteria to instead produce this inflammatory stuff, which then causes potentially inflammatory acne. So I know this may have been confusing with too much science jargon, but that was mostly just in case anyone who's watching is interested in hearing about some of the gene expression specifics. But the overall takeaway is that it looks like when you look at people's skin bacteria, people who have acne have a different profile of skin bacteria in terms of what it's doing than people who don't have acne. And when you give people who don't have acne B12, their skin bacteria suddenly looks like people who have acne, and some of them break out. The reason this happens seems to be because it's causing your skin to be more inflamed. So having too much B12 may cause your skin to be inflamed and therefore cause acne, is what these studies seem to all be suggesting. And I found this study really interesting because I feel like more and more we're seeing how important our bacteria is to our functioning. Like I have some other videos on gut microbiota or gut bacteria and how that can affect what you eat, what you feel, all that kind of stuff. And it's crazy how much bacteria seems to be playing a role in our health outcomes, and more and more studies are showing this. Also, I have a feeling that a big reason that some people might react to B12 and not others could be related to diet. I wonder if someone were to look at B12 supplementation and who gets acne from it, I wonder if they might see some kind of connection with what kinds of diets people are on, like maybe more plant-based diet versus animal-based diet. Animal-based diet naturally gets more B12, maybe then getting a B12 injection causes their blood B12 to just get too high, because it's already so high. And I wonder if this is also part of the reason why so many people get amazing results with clearing up their skin from cutting out dairy, because dairy has a lot of B12. And also people have reported great results from cutting out meat. So if you have bad acne, it might be worth cutting out meat and dairy, or if you're already vegan, maybe lowering your B12 supplement. However, you should be very careful about this because it's way more important to make sure you have enough B12, even if it gives you some acne, than to be deficient in B12. Because if you get deficient in B12, you could go blind, you could be unable to walk anymore, you get like horrible nerve damage, it's just absolutely horrifying, so don't do that. But if you suspect that your acne may be related to B12, it might be worth going to a doctor and getting a blood test and seeing where your B12 levels are at. Because, for example, I found out about a month ago that my B12 levels are twice the maximum healthy range because I was taking a multivitamin and drinking lots of soy milk, so I guess that just gave me way more B12 than I needed. And I noticed that since cutting out my multivitamin as a result of that blood test result, I've been having much clearer skin. So it seems like my skin has really benefited from lowering my B12 potentially, or whatever else is in the multivitamin. But I have been taking some of the things that were part of it in their own supplements that were not B12. So this does make me think there is a good chance that it could be the reduction in B12 that's making my skin a lot healthier. So maybe worth trying for yourself, but please check with the doctor first, because if you're vegan, you definitely need to take a B12 supplement of some kind. That's my caveat. But anyways, I hope this was useful, or at least interesting to you. And if you liked it, I would really appreciate if you could share it, give it a like, or subscribe. 
And also, if you really want to help me out, I have a Patreon account where if you want, you can just go pledge to give a dollar or two every time I make a video. It would really help me out as a poor grad student. So thanks for watching and see you next time.